One take two. So, does the so-called commodities super cycle have further to run? Most commodity prices were down in 2011, but they've staged a strong recovery across the board in recent months. Gold, industrial metals, agriculture, and of course oil prices are all trending up. Private investors have three broad routes into the sector funds, investment trusts, and ETFs. I've picked out one of each. JPM Natural Resources, an open-ended fund, has recently had a new manager in Neil Gregson. More than a third of the fund's assets are invested in gold and precious metals, and another third in base metals. The fund has returned 170% over the past seven years and 114% over the past three years. The total expense ratio amounts to 1.68%. The second choice is Baker Steel Resources Trust. This closed-end investment vehicle invests primarily in unlisted natural resources companies and has been rocketing up the performance charts in recent months. The biggest holding is Ivan Platz, a private company that owns a copper project in the Congo, followed by Ferris Resources, which has five iron ore projects in South America. The trust is managed by principals David Baker and Trevor Steele who were founding members of BlackRock's mining team in 1992. Over the past 12 months, the share price return totals 26%, but it also has a high total expense ratio of 3.1%. A cheaper way to access the sector is through an exchange-traded commodity. As we've looked at precious metals and mining, the ETC I'm suggesting is an agricultural ETC from Deutsche Bank's ETF arm DBX Trackers. It tracks the S&P GSCI Agriculture Index, which is heavily weighted towards corn, wheat, soybeans and sugar, which make up 75% of that index. And the collateral is backed by physical gold. Over the past year, it's taken a hit, as the index has fallen by 20%. Nevertheless, investors should remember that the longer-term growth story for commodities is still intact. With a rising population, the supply of foodstuffs will struggle to keep up, and global demand for stuff that comes out of the ground will also continue to underpin prices and drive them higher. However, bear in mind that commodities can be volatile, so they should make up a small but necessary part of your portfolio. One take two.